Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, between last video and this video I did all of the wealth and all the artifacts. Um, I pretty much opened everywhere in this section of the map. I did not do the mysteries though, so I'm going to start off this video by completing all of the mysteries in this section. Then we'll go to that new section and do our next main mission of Ulrikstead. Uh, so that we can continue on and see where the story takes us. I hope you have been enjoying the playthrough so far. If you have been and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Looks like there's a horse over there. What is happening up on that cliff? And a guy, or a girl, or a person of some sort. Give me the strength to give to you. Hello. What is all this? My life, the fruit of my work, all gathered here, and now I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it, but I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that mm. how it works? Are you sure you want this, dude? This seems like Why something. Is everything packed in straw. I did not want anything to break. Seems like something you'll regret after I've thrown the last one off, and then you're gonna get mad at me. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black after I put an arrow under King Sigtube's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Haftan for capturing his bride, Ranghild. Hmm. You did a lot of stuff for that king, apparently. Look how pretty it frickin' is. I can't handle it. Ugh. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. All right, don't be pissed at me. You missed a few things. Like what? The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To what? Asgard! No, 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 no! Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. Out of all the endings I was expecting... What? Okay, then. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight! Eivor- It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Sirbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, 
I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help <laughs> choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs> this chick is in a tank top dress in the snow. This is some hardy folk, these Vikings. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they oh, like in experience, good. they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. I don't know if we can do Listen that anymore. Up, you see slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <gasps> fight! The needs to be ruthless. Oh, oh fit. You have much to learn. Oh my god. <laughs> I play Spider Man one time and it messes me up. Oh, 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 okay. We're glitching. are tougher than they look. Tougher than you know. Thorgils got back up after you went down. He finished the fight. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't mess it up by losing it. Ugh. That's pathetic. Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. 
That belonged to the first Christian pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. <laughs> and there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black wore when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. Mm. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father wore in wool the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward, I should cut you down. No! I do not want to die! Not your... <laughs> Douche. Lost and honor bound. You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here. It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, <laughs> and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you're not a great warrior. You know it too. There is no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Okay, so I need to find... That's a bear. It's probably too much if I had to guess. Guide me. Oh, I hear wolves. Where are the wolves? There they are. Come here. All right, run. Now, win your honor. They are much bigger up close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this. Come, Alice. Chronicles. Dude, I'm not going to die for you. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive. My Hooger soars on raven's Hooger. wings. With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day, you will be called. Ellen Wolfwhip, killer of curs. Oh, it suits me. You no, know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, beast beta. Ellen Wolfwhip, hear my name and no fear. Oh, Lord. Hide amongst the trees and thickets, wolves. Ellen Wolfwhip comes your Okay, way. I really need health. Please? Be careful, or be cursed! Foul magic gathers here! A pestilence poisons this land! Let it be known that cider magic in these lands will be the sole, domin <laughs> the sole dominion of seers and other wise women. If any male, be he boy or man, is found guilty of this unmanly practice, he will face exile at the very least, and be perhaps careful, even death by the removal cursed. of these manly elements Foul that yet remain. A pest what is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You're hunting someone, then? A warlock. 
One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I'll weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. I just need some herbs. Can't walk that slow. Don't know what that was about. Oh, there it is. Hi, Horsey. Have you come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. <laughs> so you are not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There is a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! I don't like the teeth. Oh. My God. Die! Fuck. Oh, I messed it up. Oh no, I didn't want to kill him! Cleansed of these twisted deceits. Shit! I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. You may take what you wish from its carcass. Damn it! Oh, that was annoying. I was trying to kill the- oh, damn it. You're annoying. Can I kill you now? Sorry, dude. Sometimes I despair at the blight of ignorance covering this land. I yearn for the warmer climes that worked my thoughts like a farmer's field, planting seeds of unimagined possibilities, ideas that would find poor soil here. But then I see some old woman, so much like my own dear mother, and I'm reminded of what my younger self would have given for someone knowledgeable in healing during this distant dark time. There is so much. Oh God, I feel extra guilty. Oh, I need that. Shoot, I need antlers. Damn it. What is this? Mm. 
We're tripping. Observe the signs and pass through the gates in the right order. if that was right or not. I was thinking it was the crows, but maybe it's the statues? No? The first gate leads to through through Heim, where Thor thunders until Ragnarok. The second gate leads to Freya's Folkvang, for good men and women grown weary of battle. The third gate leads to Gladsheim, where, all, where the Allfather welcomes his blood drinkers. So I'm looking for a guy with a hammer, maybe? For gate number one, because that's Thor. Okay. That's good. Now I need Freya. You don't look like Freya. You could be Freya. Did I do it? Yeah. Who wanders widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. Hmm. That's cool. Wow, my screen feels like extra crisp now. Help! They have taken the yard. We shall. He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Jarl taken by bandits? If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! You will be well rewarded! That seems me. sketchy. Something's not right here. Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! Watch the Jarl be like a pig or something. We are near. Go. Go on, they are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. Fine, follow me. <laughs> or it's a trap. really cool. This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. 
Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we Olaf? had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Shotve is dead, by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I'll spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. I, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. Okay, bye. Doesn't look very fertile. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land Buddy, I think better you're lost. than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. Oh. You have not seen builders like that since. My London, how you've they had changed. To work with what they had. England is closer than you think. Come and visit the beautiful England. Rich fields and game-filled forests await. Marvel, the walls of old London or the busy streets of New Winchester. You might even be lucky enough to meet King Alfred himself. The king is generous and offers land north of Hadrian's Wall for any strong enough to hold it. And you will need great strength to battle the savages who make their home in the north. They are an uncivilized people who will burn your homes and steal your children. Join me in my fight to rid the land of these monsters. The writing degenerates into unreadable scribblings. Hmm. So maybe he's lost his mind a little bit. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. <clears throat> I love how she's playing along, that's so cute. I don't see bluebirds, but I see ravens. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. Hmm. Small city, don't you think? This is Hadrian's Wall, our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. <laughs> it is a wall of sorts. Going next. Up here. I wonder what town this is going to be, or city this is going to be. Maybe this is a whole different country. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where. Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts! They have taken the king! We oh, must seek the north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I am sure he's somewhere. Not the king! First a Jarl, now a king? Do We're just not worry, my saving king. leaders all over I the place. Am coming. 
Why does that keep happening? mother's wish. A mother's wish. John, this will be my last winter. The vulva tells me so. When the earth reclaims my bones, you must come care for your father. He is still the man I married, but his mind is not well. Oh, I fear he will be sent to some hellish place if he dies this way. Please try to make his final days peaceful. Some say the gods decide where we go when we die, but I think it is how we live. Your reward will be great. Asa. name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue! Because you cut it out. You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear? I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? You walk in a dream. It is time to wake. What are you saying? What is real may not be as pleasant as a fantasy. But you have people in this world who honor you. It does not matter what you tell me is real. This is what I believe. I believe Alfred has sold us out to the Picts. You betrayed your nation and your people. I denounce and dethrone you. It's a harsh choice, but sometimes you must put fire to a wound to heal it. Forgive I'm my very confused will. about what just happened. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Still at war with England. That tough old fox is still hanging on. I admit, I am impressed. It must be around here somewhere. A maiden's missive. Hail, brave champions. Come find my comb. It is lost in lying low, where only the courageous go. Be you bold of breath and blood. Do not wallow in the mud. Find me by the rushing waters and be my fish in shining armor. Okay, so it's in the water. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an I'll evening be the one of to my find company. It. Just you wait oh. and see. Care to join them? It must be around here somewhere. Sure. Turn to ice if I stay here. All right. So she said something about the fishes, yeah. strong blood and strong lungs. So that means it's got to be in the water. Hmm. I think it said where the water flows, right? So it's either gonna be that waterfall or this waterfall, but I already swam over here, so we're gonna check this one. Deadly cold. Oh yeah, it's definitely gotta be in this hole. For sure. Ah. 
Okay. That was easy. That's the main wall of this ice bath. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. Ooh. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation oh. takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different la. than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and delicate. Delicate? And the others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. <laughs> I am so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or vikinger will do. I was married once. My old feet died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. Am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? <laughs> I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. <laughs> Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. Oh. I, I Thank think I'm good you with the comb. for the offer, but I cannot. Here, your comb. You keep it. It was a reward for my champion. Farewell. You don't want to talk? Like, I, I'd be happy to hang out. Just, you know, we just met. I don't, I don't need you helping my, my snags. Okay. Where do I go for that? Oh yeah, you go keep her warm, dude. <gasps> Hi! Mm -hmm. Hilda Spiny Crag. Something. This has got to be it, right? Okay, so there's someone to talk to over there. Oh. Why could I... I can come in here for no reason? That's weird. If you come looking for bears, there are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition, Jorazan. If you are a true drender, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins. Then you mm. may help me fulfill my destiny. Sure, but let me steal your stuff first. Note written in a shaky hand. My king, I hope my words will fly to you in Valhalla. I remain confined to Midgard. I alone of the Drangar have returned to our homeland. It is not the same without you. A burial pit could not be more lifeless. Helheim would be better than this. I pledged you my life. Now send me a good death. Eric. Oh, fuck, are you Eric? Did I get all your stuff? No. 
Oh wait, that was the letter. Yes, okay. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrook named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear, when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight mm. a true Drenge. When you're he has ready. a skull, that's Very not good. Well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. For Ragnar Lothbrook, the true king of Norway. Oh, fuck, okay, we're For starting the right away then. Okay, right, cool. Do I raise my blade? Hey, I can do that too. Oh, apparently I can't. What the fuck? You're too. Oh, we're siding. Oh, shit. Okay, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. <laughs> I couldn't dodge. What the fuck? It is with great. Very well. For glory. For the wandering dream here, I raise my blade. Honor for skill and ferocity. That is all that matters. Fuck yes, that's exactly what I needed to happen. Oh, oh no! If you are a true drinker, Ragnar would have liked you. Why can't I block those? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I don't understand why I can't. I think I'll finish that fight off camera just because I'm very frustrated and I'm going to be bound and determined to do it, but I do not have time to do that and worry about it More right tail. now. Sing us a song. It's just funny because the other night I beat the legendary animal, didn't even take down health. Like, and obviously I messed up a lot with the fight with him, but there was a couple times where I was trying to dodge and I was hitting the dodge button and I wasn't going anywhere. A couple of times where I was trying to aim with my arrow and it wouldn't let me move the direction of where I was aiming. So we're just not worrying about that right now. I need to go back with 
um, more ration pouches so that I can actually heal myself, and full arrows. That'll be... It'll be easy if I have that, but I can't go in with underprepared like I am. Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said your stench is strong. That's your only... Something's going on out there. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe <laughs> him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Yes. Trade it for what yes, you can. Yes, I did. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Mm -hmm. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. <laughs> mm. I've heard... Someone called a gist stain. I've heard someone called a wink stain. I've never heard someone called a seed stain. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. I love that we're finally getting into the assassin shit. And in That's case my I favorite. Wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. <laughs> Third time's the charm, guys. I was trying to do it with one hand, it was not working. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Probably shouldn't run. Distrust area. Ooh, I like that. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach. I want to talk to you. Hey now. Uh, you have to. That's enough, my lead. Okay, maybe we should um try that again. <laughs>
Why are they still attacking me? Go away. You married the blood eagle. Am I gonna fuck this up? If I fought them. Yeah, so much for the truce. Um. Oh, this poor old lady. Oh, she's just a lady. <laughs> she's walking like an old lady, though. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Fuck. Guards everywhere. Um, okay, here we go. That works. We use them in combination with each other. Evil! You are her shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I'll give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor or form, <laughs> and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. How did they know we were in there, though? Started. I should find Sigurd. Pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. <laughs> Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? Mm. I was blooded before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. 
We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Mm-hmm. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. <laughs> Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. I feel like that's the great, the great answer to say. I name you Brown knows a little bit. Call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. And that will sting more, because if we kill him, May it's like I an honorable speak? death. The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends. Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive Sorry if you can my hear son. my stomach. <laughs> he is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Hmm. Harald's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. <laughs> Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He 
came of age very quickly. Interesting. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. <laughs> oh, Tekla. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. <laughs> it will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chudvis riches. I wanted to take it so badly. Riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Bye! All right, I just want to open up that new area on the map because, man, am I excited. and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. <clears throat> Sorry. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure, as is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. 
Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance is past. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. He said we could leave. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anger, Lord. No. You must be his better half. May Agiv bless your voyage. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some <laughs> muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar yeah, established yeah. the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed <laughs> us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! What about Hala? Goodbye, Norway. Oh. Layla? at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, 
even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. It's pretty here. Tea? Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. That's quite nice. Soothing. <laughs> you mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Why are we dancing like that to this song? Sean has been busy. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted, just a quick deposit and gone. We got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file, voice unknown, with a signal beneath it. The signal was a code. Led us to a precise spot here in New England. We dug, and good lord, we struck gold. Well, silver. Dominant currency in the Dark Ages. Point is, it was a grave site. A Norse warrior dating to the late 9th century, early 10th century AD, a few centuries before the earliest known settlements. This is big news if we have it right. Questions remain. How did these bones get here and why? So we're in New England? Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. She looks tired. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. Wow. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I 
dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm so excited to be in a new part of the map! Norway was awesome, but I love when you open up new sections. It just makes me very excited. There she is! England! Our new home! Not a patch on Norway! But we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And we'll be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbs fairy <laughs> folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragna know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? <laughs> that rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That <laughs> is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. It looks so good, you guys. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We can storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dad. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to. Stop the boat. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it from somewhere in that camp. I'm so excited to be able to swim without freezing to death. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Oh, look at... Alright. It's gonna be another wicked long video, but let's, uh... At least get to where we're going. The 
This place is heavily guarded. Jesus, what's happening? Jesus. didn't see me. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, I just wanted to send attack. Ooh, stop, stop, stop! Ooh. Love that. Anchored it appears. I might be able to shoot it. After conducting several trials, we have found that these naval chains will hold against even the most durable Danish longships, so long as the mechanism remains intact. Several more blockades will be constructed in the coming months and are to be installed on the rivers leading inland. This is our best defense against any forthcoming incursions. It is imperative that these blockades be maintained and kept operational at all times. Any failure of function is to be reported immediately. Titanium. What am I shooting? Oops, oops, oops. I didn't even see you. What is that? I think our boat is broken. Or it's bottoming out. about Time work. I say we go back Sigurd give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have easy pickings not today dad we press on until we reach our goal we cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dak? I fear for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. 
and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning, they are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Look at the flowers and the grass. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot as they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. If they are foes, then we fight them all together. I can't tell if they do want to fight us or not. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords <laughs> and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your <laughs> weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Prices. Right. I will check the longhouse. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Guess we're going in the roof. Okay, Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men are prisoners. What is happening? Show me what lies ahead. A 
Eivor, look at this. There's a door a right nice here. trap. There might be something inside. I will have a look. Way yet, Eivor. I'm not done smashing. Okay, now I am. Hello. You there. Untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant. Not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable, to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? <laughs> we use their skills as we get settled. <laughs> He's like, wait, tell me. And someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. Well, oh, fuck. The others have arrived. Come. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, shit, we can't get to break. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. I'm so excited to build up our camp, you guys. One of my favorite parts about um, Assassin's Creed 2 is building up Monte Regioni. I loved it. And then it was destroyed and I cried. It was fine. All my hard work just in smoke. <laughs> what is that awkward smile? Oh my god, it looks so good, you guys. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come, Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. 
And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We couldn't <laughs> let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings <laughs> once again. One <laughs> day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. <laughs> we cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And Travel what else overseas have you found? to different countries. You see atlas notes, available mostly. through the world map. Scraps of plans, letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. Um, sorry for another super long video, but since I'd spent so much time doing side stuff, I wanted to make sure I did a decent amount of main story as well. I'm so excited to finally be in a new area of the map. Uh, like I said, I loved Norway. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, but I just really love exploring and opening up new sections of maps. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so I will go back off camera and finish up that last fight with that guy, especially now that I have full health and full ammo and all that stuff. Uh, it will definitely be much easier. I'll also probably explore some more off camera, but I'll save the mysteries uh, just like I did last time. And I'll probably just intersperse them through the main videos instead of doing all of them in one big chunk like I did this time. Uh, now that I know a little bit more what each symbol represents and what each color is, uh, it'll be easier for me to decide like what I should do on camera and what I should say for off camera. So um, I'll probably just intersperse those as we go along with the main story uh, so that you don't have to have another straight hour of me just doing side uh, mystery missions. But I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. I know I'm very excited to keep playing. I'm very excited to build up our new town Ravensthorpe. I'm very excited to see where the story goes and who we're going to meet along the way. Uh, and I hope you are as well. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.